Hi. I am really sorry that I can't be there in D.C. with you to accept this award. It's a tremendous honor. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks to the, to the committee. Thanks to the person who nominated me. Thanks to everyone who ever cited me. Um, it's really great to be recognized by the ICA um, and the Communication Technology Division, which of course didn't exist when I started my career. Uh, I'm making the video because Nicole suggested it might be nice for me to say a few words about that career and about what it was like doing work at that time. Um, and also because my colleague Mary Gray is a little worried that an award like this might lead people to think I'm dead. So um, yeah, not dead here. Uh, I started studying communication technology as a grad student in 1991 when I noticed that the Usenet discussion forums where I was spending a lot of time online uh, had some really interesting communication phenomena where identities and relationships and communities and social norms and values were being constructed through communication. And I thought, maybe I ought to write a paper about this. So I went to the library, and I found that with very few exceptions, including uh, this award's namesake and past winners, uh, very few people were um, studying the communication and technology. Uh, and even fewer of them were doing it in naturally occurring contexts. Um, in terms of the field, we had divisions like interpersonal communication or organizational communication or mass communication. We didn't have communication and technology, uh, and there wasn't really a very clear way for us to connect uh, to build the kind of work that, that has come to characterize this division and parallel divisions and, and organizations elsewhere. Um, when I gave my first paper at ICA in 1995, it was in the research, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, the Language and Social Interaction Division, um, and I spent almost half of my time explaining the concept that people were communicating with each other about television on computers that were connected all around the world. Um, so if I initially viewed the internet as a, a laboratory where people were doing really interesting social things through communication. Um, clearly, the phenomenon has left the lab and penetrated the world and the discipline uh, and many, many other disciplines. Um, I think we're in a time now where um, many of us feel overwhelmed and powerless in the face of new communication technologies that seem to be at least as frightening as they are empowering. Uh, many of us have the trouble, trouble making the connection between our individual use, which can be very fulfilling, even if uh, challenging sometimes, um, and the structural systemic problems that these technologies, I think, clearly are, are helping to foster. I do believe that communication has an essential role to play in making our way through this. Um, so I want to close with a challenge for us going forward. Uh, so much of our theory is about individuals or relationships or communities or groups or platforms or societies. Um, that won't suffice. We urgently need understandings that connect this all so that we can intervene at every level to build the societies we want instead of the ones we're getting. To do this, we're going to need to remember our histories. Um, Usenet may seem like a million years ago, but it's not all that different from Reddit and some of the phenomena that people were writing about in those days and in earlier technologies, uh, including some that weren't even electronic. Um, they're still happening. So if we're going to understand what's new and what's different and what actually comes from technology, we really need to understand what's old. So pay attention to old scholarship, um, not just mine, everybody's. Um, we're going to need all of the methods that we've got. Um, we're going to need to work across fields. Um, we're going to need to work across our own field. Um, and we're going to need to do a lot more collaboration um, across boundaries than we ever had before, because these are problems that work across boundaries in ways they never did before. Uh, so finally, uh, we're going to have to ramp up and get more engaged publicly so that our field can have the impact that it deserves. Um, yeah, so I'm going to close with that. Thanks again. Have a great time at the reception. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.